Hi guys, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I have a real quick top 10 list for you guys. I don't normally do this, but I was just thinking, you know, the top 10 YouTubers that I really enjoy, I wanted to recommend to you guys. So maybe you guys can give them a try and see what you like. Um, I will most likely butcher these poor guys' names out the wazoo, so please keep with me, even though down there in the comments you probably say that I said something wrong, and that's fine. The first one is Top 10 Memes. Now these guys do a great job on here. I really enjoy watching their videos. Now I've put an annotation here, over here, <laughs> over here, I forget, it's invert for me. So I've put an annotation in there so you guys will be able to see it and can go ahead and do a link over to their page and check them out. The next one I have is the Jay Wits. He does a lot of game theory, a lot of poke, a lot of it's based on Pokemon. I really enjoy it. I mean, I'm a big Pokemon fan. Back, way back, I remember watching the original, original um, premiere when it came over to the United States. The next one is just a fun channel. It's a uh, Tabuscus. I really enjoy watching Tabuscus. It seems to be pretty good. He keeps it clean, keeps it really fun. I enjoy both of his channels and I have a link up there to one of them I'd recommend you go check it out uh, the next one and this one I am going to butcher and I'm not even gonna try it <laughs> it's a magic guy I mean he does he does amazing pranks and I enjoy laughing my head off at it because he does a great job at some of these pranks you know, well thought through things things I would have never have even thought of doing he does a great job at the next one I'm going to try it's SW Enbridge I think I don't know he doesn't do terribly many uploads I got a piece of paper here with all the names on it he doesn't do a lot of uploads but the ones he does he does parodies on some uh, common anime uh, the one I think of and the one I watched that he does was a uh, SAO and he does the best SAO parody I've ever seen and I would really recommend it for anyone because I've watched those over and over again and I really enjoy it every time um, the next one on the list is I think we're up at number five already uh, movie spoofs these guys they do a lot of movie spoofs this is how it should have ended these guys if you ever gone to the movie theater and sat there and said well why did they do that why did they do XYZ these guys go through and do XYZ and make a video on it these guys do amazing job they don't upload as much as I would like but they do an absolutely astounding job with the ones they do number four on the list we have Matthew Sinclair he does top tens I really enjoy his top tens that he does again as you can see I've got a couple of top tens on here I do trend towards watching those and I love watching YouTube that's why I started doing YouTube myself is because I wanted to give you guys something to laugh at again as well the next one up is the game theorists and they do now these guys go in-depth I mean Jay Witz sticks mainly Pokemon but he does a lot of in-depth the game theorists I mean they dig into this stuff they do an amazing job if you ever have questions about po any sort of game Pokemon or they do a great job on the Five Nights at Freddy's <sighs> blow my mind great job at Five Nights at Freddy's I never knew that game was that deep nor that incredibly tough yeah I haven't done the last one still I'm still working on night five I am horrible at that game um, the next one up is another game show another let's play it's um, Markiplier I enjoy Markiplier but he does something that kind of annoys me he uploads a lot and he uploads a lot of content and a lot of the stuff I don't really enjoy all of his videos but the ones I enjoy are really good he'll come out with a good gold nugget every now and then but he can also produce some things that I just don't don't find entertaining but I would highly recommend him just because when he comes out with a good one it's a good one you know you end up watching that one over and over again I would recommend it. his Five Nights at Freddy's is fantastic as well and my top rank so that was number two would be Markiplier I mean that's pretty tall up there as far as my recommendations my top recommendation would be 
Good Mythical Morning. These guys just do a daily show. Every one of theirs is really top notch. They're really excellent at doing their job. They do it really well. Um, out of anyone on this list, I would definitely, definitely recommend you go check them out. I end up laughing through most of their shows. Most of them are absolutely hilarious. Definitely um, Willits. You know, Will It Taco or Will It, you know, Will It Pizza or Will It, Will It Ice Cream Sandwich. Those are amazingly good and hilarious. And lastly, I do have to have an honorable mention in here just because I am not impartial and I will recommend myself because I am not shameless. I will have to say Retro Theater is my honorable mention just because, well, I didn't want to put it in here because I helped produce it, so I am not impartial. But I'd have to recommend going to Retro Theater right over here now. Yes, please click that. I'll wait right here. This video will stay right here and wait for you to do that. Yes. Okay, so those are the top 10 channels that I would recommend you guys to go check out. Uh, real quick here, let's go and check in this sheep. Sheep be all naked. Yes, Jack and Jill and all their family has now been shaven and they're now got the nice summer coats on. Or lack thereof. Um, as well as, uh, as far as retro theater goes, we have some new exciting series coming up. We have, and they'll be listed right over here. We have coming out, yes, week three of uh, Jack and Jill are coming out. That's going to be coming out a link to the playlist will be right about here above that right about here because I'm absolutely guessing at this point because I do not have it to put in yet no I just wave my hand in the air like an idiot like I just don't care but we will put another series is going to be on um, another gameplay on Dragon Age Inquisition, which is one of my personal favorite games. I love the Dragon Age series, and Dragon Age Inquisition is one of the best that I've ever played as far as RPGs go. I'd have to put that at the top, even passing by um, Mass Effect, which was in itself deep, even though the ending was questionable at best. Um, and above that one is Dying Light. Now, Dying Light was a bit of a surprise as far as games go, because one, it took forever. I pre-ordered that sucker about a year and a half before it ever actually came out. It kept moving back and back and back and back, and finally it came out, and believe me, it is worth the wait. If you go and check it out, I highly recommend it. Now, both of those games are M-rated, so please keep that in mind. If you are underage, I would recommend not doing it, just because I don't want to get in trouble. And that is very bad for me if I get in trouble. No. So, this is Shadowfeld, and I will see you on the flip side.